Hello, welcome back. Today I'm here to talk to you about something that is important and something that I was thinking about last night. If you're new here, hello, I'm Patricia. I'm a Brazilian English teacher. And it's so crazy because I like to teach English in English. God knows how or why. I like to explain things in English and I like to talk to you a lot in English because I think that when you listen to English, you learn English faster and you learn English in a more natural way, okay? So I'm here to talk to you. Actually, I'm really worried because I've got this red lipstick on and I'm thinking, why did I do that? Because now, for this whole video, I'm going to be thinking and wondering whether I have lipstick on my teeth. So I'm sorry if I do. I'm just gonna... It's okay now, I think. I hope. Is it okay? <laughs> anyway, I was wondering... What is wondering? I was wondering, it's like when you're thinking about something, and you're asking yourself, mm, do I have lipstick on my teeth? Do I? Oh, I don't know. Wondering about it. I'm wondering if you like um, this video. Do you? If you do, click on like and share with your friends and subscribe for more. And let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so I'm here to talk to you about why, one of the reasons why it's so difficult to learn English nowadays. Nowadays means in this time that we're living, you know, this uh, technology era. Some will say, some people will say that I'm wrong because now we have free content on YouTube and we have amazing apps and we have podcasts and so many fantastic tools to help us improve or learn English. And that's correct. We do. I'm here doing this right now. However, there is a factor that really stops us from improving our English or from learning English. And this came to me last night as I was in bed, watching in bed, Patricia, in bed. No, 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 you were on the bed. You're not inside the bed. No, actually I was in bed because when you are lying down and you're covered and you're like, mm, I was in bed. It's really crazy, I know. I was in bed watching a series on Netflix and I was watching you. It's terrible. I really don't like the series. And I was watching it because I was just too lazy to try and find something better to watch on Netflix. Because we know this, right? We get on Netflix and we're browsing and browsing and browsing forever and we end up not watching anything. It happens, doesn't it? Browsing. I love this verb. You know when you go to a shop, this happens all the time in Brazil and I personally find this so annoying. Annoying is irritating, so annoying. You go to a shop and all you want to do is have a look around, not buying, just looking. And so the salesperson comes to you and they want to help you. And then they just stay there forever and they ask you 50 questions about, I don't know, stuff. And you just, you don't want to talk or buy, you just want to look. So in English, when this happens, all you say is, oh, thank you, I'm just browsing. Just browsing means I'm just looking, I'm just browsing, thank you. So it's a very useful verb when you travel. Bonus tip in this video, that was amazing. So coming back to this time we're living in, okay? I was watching you and I realized that my phone was on my bedside table. Bedside table, the little table next to your bed. So my phone was on there and I noticed, because I, I like to uh, watch myself, to pay attention to what I do. I am like that, I'm very observant. And 
So I realized that I kept on reaching for my phone every, say, two minutes or so, like really. And when I did reach for my phone, I was actually on my phone. I was browsing stuff. I was on Instagram doing nothing. And the TV was on and I would every now and then, you know, sometimes every now and then I would get my eyes off the screen on my phone and just glance at the TV. Glance is take a quick look, just so this, right? Mm. Mm. This is glance, quick look. So I wasn't really watching. I was not really on my phone and I was not really watching telly, TV. So in this case, it's really difficult to give something your full attention nowadays. When was the last time you gave something your full attention? Like I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you and that's all I'm doing. I'm giving you my full attention. Now, are you giving me your full attention? Or are you watching me and browsing on your phone? Or watching me and replying to an email? Think about this. When you give something your full attention, you give yourself the chance to actually learn something. When you're half here and half there, you're not really anywhere. Now that was a qu My God! Quotation marks, please. When you're half here and half there, you're not really anywhere. <laughs> that was so good. And that's true. So think about it. Next time you're watching something in order to practice your English, Give it your full attention. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember, click on like, share with your friends, leave a comment down below, subscribe to this channel for more, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.